Breaking tonight, presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump has banned the Washington Post from his campaign events, revoking the publication's press credentials and accusing the paper of having no integrity. Trump did not explain what prompted the embargo exactly, but the Post's punishable offense appears to be a headline that read, Donald Trump suggests President Obama was involved with Orlando shooting. A headline which referenced some Trump remarks about the president earlier in the day. Watch. Recently, just this morning on a different network, you said about the president, he doesn't get it or he gets it better than anybody understands. What do you mean by that? Well, there are a lot of people that think maybe he doesn't want to get it. A lot of people think maybe he doesn't want to know about it. I happen to think that he just doesn't know what he's doing. But there are many people that think maybe he doesn't want to get it. He doesn't want to see what's really happening. Joining me now, Katrina Pearson. She's the Trump campaign's national spokesperson. And Julie Reginsky, who's a Democratic strategist and a Fox News contributor. Good to see you both. It started with an interview on Fox & Friends where Trump said to the Fox & Friends team, People can figure out for themselves what he meant um, when he said there's something going on. That's what Trump was saying. He kept saying there's something going on, something going on with Barack Obama, that he isn't more forceful in his response. Julie, I'll give it to you first on whether that's a problem, those statements. Well, look, if you're applying the president of the United States as a terrorist sympathizer, and in fact, that's exactly what Donald Trump was doing, uh, that is a quite a startling statement to make as the presumptive Republican nominee, the man that wants to be the next president. Look, this is not a new thing for Donald Trump. He implied that he wouldn't release his birth certificate, President Obama, because he could be potentially a Muslim. Uh, this is a dog whistle that's been going on for so long. It's not a dog whistle anymore. He's now essentially coming out and saying that this president is potentially sympathizing with ISIS. That's unacceptable. And frankly, banning the Washington Post for a headline that he's not happy with, while I think the headline was somewhat unfair, it doesn't mean that the Washington Post or any other media outlet gets to be banned. This is not the Soviet Union. I know he admires Vladimir Putin, who banned a tremendous amount of media in Russia that President Ob that excuse me that Donald Trump yep. um, would want to have happen here. But we're not Russia. This cannot happen here in this country where you have somebody banning an outlet they don't like. Katrina, the Washington Post later softened its headline from Donald Trump suggests Obama was involved in the shooting to suggests President Obama that he seemed to connect President Obama to the Orlando shooting. And they didn't make that call attention to it, but they said, hey, we did it on our own. The Trump campaign didn't even ask us to do it. So there. Well, you know, Megan, this, this has been going on for quite some time. I mean, Mr. Trump has already talked about the Washington Post assigning all these uh, journalists to him just to write hit pieces, and it's a failing enterprise. And this is what they do to, to bring, to drive traffic. It's called clickbait. That's what they do. And just because you're a media outlet doesn't mean you get a front row seat in a campaign. They're still going to continue to cover Mr. Trump. He's just not going to make it easier for them to go out there and write horrible pieces like that. Because to insinuate that Donald Trump says the president was involved with what happened in Orlando, is absolutely absurd and offensive. And with regard to what Mr. Trump's did he mean? statements, what did he he's mean, obviously Katrina? right. What, what did he mean with that there's something going on? Well, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to say, Megan. He's obviously right. Something is going on. Here we are, 40 hours after the fact, and even today, President Obama refused to even say the word Islam when talking about this incident. He refused it. And, and what, in what do you mean? Hood, domestic terrorism. But he means that something is wrong. Why do we have a president that refuses to talk about the problem? We just had Americans butchered, murdered, and he refuses to acknowledge uh, the radical Islamic well, extremism. Well, he said that. I mean, he has there. said the reason. He's, he said the reason, Julie, he has said, which is he doesn't feel that the language is important. He thinks it's actually going to play into the terrorist hands. But the question I have for you is, you know, your thoughts on Trump's banning The Washington Post and whether there was something, whether whether Trump deserves the benefit of the doubt on this, on this, there's something going on claim. You know, if this were the first time he said it, I might give him the benefit of the doubt. But when you have going back to 2010 allegations as this, this president, somehow nefarious, somehow a fellow traveler, somehow a Manchurian candidate, a potential Muslim, uh, then I have to say, no, it's not something you give the benefit of the doubt to because it consistently happens. And look, you ultimately, whether you like the Washington Post or not, you cannot continue to ban yeah. public outlets like this. But this is also a president who has yeah. gone out there and in public speeches and said that civilization that. owes a debt to Islam. What does that mean? Okay, got to leave it at that. Thoughts to ponder during the break. We'll be right back with Mark Furman.